The Art Institute calling this era unprecedented in its 140 year history. A skeletal staff continues work caring for the relics and cultural treasures. Tonight, in a tour you'll see only on two, Chris Ty takes you into the dark halls of the museum that have never sat dark this long. Art captures moments in time. When you're looking at art, you're thinking about the moment that it happened. Moments when paint meets canvas. Moments when clay is formed. And moments when humans could congregate in the park. Now, a look inside the moment Chicago's cultural beacon went dark. This is something we've never experienced. Over 141 years, they've closed seven times unexpectedly. Visits by the Queen, the death of a president, a polar vortex. But never for a health emergency, never for two months, and never this eerie. It's very eerie to be in the museum right now. Right now, a skeletal crew is inside preserving the art, sometimes covering it with paper. What's it like to work amongst these priceless pieces of art in the middle of all this? to have this sustained period of time when we aren't welcoming people into our galleries. It's difficult and it's something that we never could have planned for. 5,000 years of history lives here. Pieces that have survived war and famine and pandemic, but have never been viewed through social distance. It's going to be great when we're able to bring people back and we're really thinking about what that's going to look like. The iconic protectors on Michigan Avenue couldn't stop this microscopic invader. But when the day comes that the doors open, they'll be here to welcome art lovers, Chicagoans, and hope. The lion's stand is a symbol of hope for Chicago, particularly when they were wearing their masks. 